Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big, bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives, and it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. But in a single night, the town sank into the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales, and when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in that an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the legendary quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling! Once in a while I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all seems like this town has a very distinct flavor. Oh, Missy! Missy! Do you mean me? Yes, you, Missy. Won't you buy something? I have an assortment of knickknacks and doodads. Oh, well... Um... Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? It is said that the box holds a map and shows where a legendary treasure sleeps. But the box has a magic lock on it that only opened for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as myself touches it. Oh. I know, the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. I am sure that whatever is in there will be no use to someone like me. So, Missy, take this box in your hands and open it. Um, alright, what's the harm? I'll try to open it. This is your host, Quasar Raspel, and welcome to Let's Play Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. Oh, this is the Let's Play I wanted to do for a long time. It's actually the second Let's Play I wanted to create after Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Uh, let's see. Uh... I like red, so we're gonna go with red. Actually, wait, I do need to change one option. The rumble settings always get me. I, I don't know if people like vibration in a lot of games, but it's gonna mess up my audio, so I think I'll just get rid of it. Um, so yeah, this is a game I actually wanted to let's play, but I let uh, someone borrow it and never got it back. This is actually another copy that I bought specifically for this LP. Plus, this game is a lot of fun! This is honestly one of my favorite games of all time. So, I know people are going to be like, oh, he's going to have such a biased opinion, but wow, I'm so excited to get into this. Oh, and as for people who are wondering, I don't have a copy of Paper Mario 1, so I just jumped right into Paper Mario 2. I didn't think that really anyone would mind, because after playing Paper Mario 2 a second time to see if I should LP it, this game really does stand off on its own a lot of times. 
Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you in... I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. Peach. What do you know? It's true. There's a weather old map in here with the letter. Check it out. Hmm. Not many distinct details on this, is there? So our adventure begins. Yay, we're on a little boat. Let's move. And <laughs> the sun is just a scribble in the sky. Oh, that's cute. But we're gonna have adventures! It's time to start the prologue. A rogue's welcome. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. Ah, our adventure begins in the wonderful and clean town of Rogefort. I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting for you here? Is that so? Of course, sir. If that's what you think. Then I won't stop you. But, uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'm going to get the heck out of here! Ah. Let's see. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak! Oh, we're here for five seconds and we're already seeing some action. I've seen you walking around the town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now the... Uh, well, now I'm doing the asking. So do be a good girl and tell us what you know right now! Never! I don't have to say anything to you creeps. Ew! I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lad ass like you met with untimely demise. <laughs> Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Oh no, I should probably check this out. So, what's going on? Like I'd go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Hm, not likely. <laughs> what do you think you're doing here, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? I'm evil after all. <laughs> it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crumple bomb. Oh, well, okay, let's not freak out here, people. <laughs> can't flee this fight, okay, so I can't run away. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details, just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. How do you know I have a hammer? How do I know I have a hammer? Oh, I have a hammer. Let's use it! Take this! Sweet! You know that hurt. 
Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. Ah! Yeah, if he doesn't beat the heck out of me first. Let's try jumping on him now. Take that! You've got him on the ropes! Come on, keep wailing on him! Ah! He's just so strong, he's doing one damage! Everyone knows if you can do one damage in an RPG, you're invincible. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! Yeah, I bet you know, but you can get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you go up a level! Don't forget that, okay? Kinda hard to forget if you're... Kinda saying everything in red text. Makes me almost want to do a demonic voice for you. <laughs> okay, so you got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... IT'S GO TIME! Oh. My. PUNISH HIM! RUN! OH NO! Quick, this way! Oh, apparently I escaped that completely unharmed. <laughs> what a bunch of loons. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Let's just, uh... Slowly ignore him. But huh? Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You, Johnson. Did you see them? Did anyone? Ugh, crud. They bolted. Uh, let's see. Now we're in the origin. Now we're in the actual town. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I've got just the thing to give you for your little reward. You know, technically, since a Goomba touched us, shouldn't we just shrink down and die? My name's Goombella. I'm a student here at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario, wait, you're like that famous guy. Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool, anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Roguefort, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure, too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko! What you got there? Oh my gosh, isn't that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach, what? Great hoogly boogly. If it isn't Master Mario. By the way, there's a mugging going on right in the background. Bit of a coincidence, bumping into an, one another in this sort of place, hmm? <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? Hmm? Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you in here in Rogueport? Intriguing. You're asking me where the Princess Peach is? Mm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took her eye off for a moment, or my eye off her for a moment. But as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. Wow, you're... That's quite the same. I've been at a loss at, as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely you'll find her, surely. And I'm just going to, you know, leave it to you. I believe I'll recline at the inn right over there. 
and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it if you, if you find your HP running low. Just drop in! Oh, <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest and there, and there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Humph, I say. Humph, I say. Um, Princess Peach. Did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Yeah, that's why it's called Princess Peach. The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King, the one you rescue. Thank you for the exposition, I love it. Wait a sec, this is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone, then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. Great! We're all good then. Let's go, Mario! And with that, Goombella joins our party. Press X to get information from nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogue Park Plaza. It's the main center of town and the main... It's the center of town and the main business district. Wow, I'm messing up words left and right this episode. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomther, the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Well, yeah, I'd complain too if I kept getting swindled and or mugged. If you press X when there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Goombella can give you hints when she an when she answers, so ask her for information often. Honestly, I don't think I will be asking for information. And of course, Goombella can be quite helpful in battle, too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bonk. She can also look at the HP enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I, um, don't actually know where he lives. So keep an eye out! Here's what Professor Frankly looks like! And with that, we get our first partner, a Goomba. Okay, just like the first game. So, with that being said, next time on Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, we're going to be exploring Rogueport a bit, checking out anything we can find, and progressing further in the story. Until then, this has been your host, Quasar Spell, signing out.